morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you all. Good to be here on this beautiful Sunday morning God has provided for us. Go ahead and make your way to your seat and uh, just want to welcome you to Mission Community Church. It's great to have you. Um, it's just been fantastic to be meeting here and uh, this is going to be our, our last Sunday meeting here at Jim and Debbie Crosses, but I think we should thank them for uh, hosting Woo! us and doing Good Friday and Easter and quite a bit, so we're thankful. So many people have been chipping in. I mean, there's so many so many other servants that are out there doing things, and uh, that included Easter and all that was happening then, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, fantastic. It is wonderful to be a part of this, this body of believers, so uh, love you guys and thank you for that. Um, Right now, I want to actually give an opportunity for someone else to make an announcement, actually. So that is Nick Leopold. I'm going to have him come up and say something that pertains to our young people. So here, there he is. Here comes, here comes Nick. Come on down, Nick. Come on, Nick. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm Nick Leopold, if you don't know me. I don't know a lot of you. I'm pretty bad at like networking. Um, my wife is Becca Leopold. She's in the back waving her hand somewhere. Um, and then we are two of the four people that are kind of heading up uh, junior high and high school. And so we wanted to get the parents of the incoming uh, junior hires that like, so sixth grade, Uh, junior hires, <laughs> if you were previously in elementary school coming into junior high, um, we want to make it uh, a priority to meet with you guys, um, the parents, and then as well as just the, the current junior high and high school parents as well. So today after church, we want to meet with you guys just really quick, a little 10 minute meet and greet um, with some intentions of maybe going into deeper meetings at some point in time. So. After the sermon, if we want to meet over by like the fire pit underneath the hammock or the, the overhang thing, uh, that would be great. Thanks. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate that. If you're there for uh, one of our Q&As, the last one we had, we talked about a launch team and we've got different people that are just serving. They're just servants and, uh, and they're giving themselves to different ways and rising up and wanting to help. And so um, we're thankful for those that are serving our youth. So that's after, right after the service. Um, next week, then you're wondering if this is our last Sunday here, where do we go next week? Good question. Uh, the plan will be to go to Mike and Jody Niece's home. Um, and so that is information that you should and you will be able to find both on our website and social media as far as their address if you don't already know where they live. All right, so we're thankful that they're opening up their house and their backyard to us. So we will plan to go there for the month of May. Um, and then we do keep praying for us. Things are happening behind the scenes. We do have uh, things getting pressed to help us move forward legally and then to be able to get insurance policies and to actually potentially renting facilities. So that is still happening, just so you know. And uh, there's a couple good leads. And so we're excited for one in particular. So we will keep you updated on that as we get more information. But just letting you know that things are happening keep praying we need the lord to, to keep moving in it and keep showing up you guys are awesome it's, and this is beautiful isn't it it's, it's a wonderful wonderful morning we have um so that is the main thing for location the one last thing i just want to make you aware of is that that'll be different for next week is not just our location but at 9 a.m if you already know the the children and the youth do come early they meet at 9 a.m and then we have our service at 10. Uh, but if you would like to join us for some prayer we're going to have a time of prayer at nine o'clock um, so you can you are welcome to come to that and i'll be leading that up we'll pray for a good 30 to 40 minutes um, and then give us a nice little break to get situated for our service starting at 10 o'clock uh, so you're all invited to that. All right? Cool. Well, let's worship our Lord in, in song. Uh, good morning. Uh, as you know, um, we just host. I'm not part of leadership anymore. And thankful for the men that God is raising up to care for this fellowship and for all of you that have chosen to be a part of Mission Community. And my prayers, as well as obviously my wife's, are, are for this fellowship every day. But it goes beyond that. I know every one of these men have known every one of these men for a long time. 
thankful for what God's doing in their lives. So uh, I just wanted to recognize that on a personal note. This is the last weekend we'll be here for a while probably. And so I just asked the guys to come up. Uh, this is Christ's church, right? Uh, it's not Cody's church. It's not Casey's church. It's not even Dale's church or Brad's. <laughs> this is Christ's church, and we're thankful for what God's doing here and will continue to do. And so I just wanted to acknowledge uh, the men that have worked hard over the last few months. You know, there was a lot of pain initially, and you know, Casey uh, got some guys together. I think he had a, an idea just initially to open his home up so that we would have somewhere to go until we found somewhere to land, another church. And uh, things just kept growing. Uh, Debbie and I didn't go every week, but uh, gosh, when we uh, came back after a couple weeks, I was surprised how many folks were hanging out with each other. And so I was thankful that, thankful for what was going on. And as that continued to grow, uh, obviously you guys, I think, know the story. Um, folks from the congregation, as it were, asked the group of men at that point, is there any way we could possibly start a church? And so they moved forward on that. Cody was, I think, in Idaho during this time with his family. It was gone three, almost, well, over three weeks, I believe. I had no idea what was going on behind the scenes. And uh, so when he came back and these men decided we could move forward uh, and began to do the work to, to uh, you know, secure that, obviously you need a pastor teacher. And so they approached Cody and he had been praying diligently about that. And uh, him and Courtney decided that God would have him to stay. And so we were thankful for that. And it's been a number of weeks ago now since Cody's jumped back in the saddle. Uh, weren't you filled this morning again yeah. with God's word? It was a great meal. <laughs> so we're thankful, Cody, for your efforts to, to study and care. And again, uh, I think uh, a couple weeks ago, they shared with you that there's a serving team and a shepherding team. And so uh, everybody from the shepherding team is here, right? You, you, and Chris on the end. And so uh, I got permission to do this this morning, okay? So <laughs> We don't know how everything will flesh out again in the long haul, who will be raised up as elders and deacons and such, uh, but for right now, the shepherding team, I'm thankful for them. And so what I wanted to do this morning, I saw this in another fellowship, and it impacted me greatly, and it really raised the bar on what the shepherds of this fellowship are responsible for and will do. And this morning, we want to present Cody with a shepherd's staff, and it's to remind him of his role and his work here with this fellowship. Um, it's serious, it's a big deal. And so wherever he puts this in your study, in your bedroom, once you get an office one day in the corner of your office, when you see that, we just want that to remind you what your role and responsibilities are, again, with this fellowship. And any elder that's raised up, even though you haven't been recognized as an elder, but you have committed to being a pastor teacher here, which means you've committed to being a shepherd. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm not a rancher or a sheep herder, but a little bit of research I did. The shepherd staff is still used by many sheep herders in this country and around the world. So it's never used with anything else. It's always with sheep. You know, if you're a cattle rancher, you drive your cattle, right? Uh, but the shepherd always leads the sheep. And the staff often is used when a newborn uh, lamb is, is born uh, to move it towards its mother. If the mother's you know, not in the near area, it's used for protection. Uh, it's a symbol of compassion for the sheep. And so I think all those things really represent the heart that I know and have come to love with Cody over the years. Or I thought we would just, uh, and the men agreed to do this, we'd just come up, present this to you, Cody, we love you. Uh, I've asked Brad to pray for Cody in, in the future. And this is a charge for you as well, to pray for Cody, for the leaders. There's so much work going on behind the scenes right now. It really is a, a, a tremendous effort. I'm thankful for that. I know you are. But please, uh, we're going to start praying next week for whatever you want to pray for. <laughs> but um, I'm just charging you as brothers and sisters of Christ to remember it's a, a serious undertaking that we're doing here that Cody is taking on and other men. And so please remember to pray because it's God's church uh, without Christ being exalted and us staying bowed before his throne. Uh, we don't know what the future holds. But with him in charge, we know uh, that he's going to accomplish what he wants to accomplish. So, Cody, we love you. And, Brad, if you wouldn't mind just praying for Cody, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, Jim. Let's pray. Father, we thank you just for the work that you have done in each of our lives and uh, calling our, uh, us to you and providing that great salvation that uh, we've been 
um, studying and, and reflecting on over the last weeks. Father, we thank you for Cody. We thank you for the heart that you have given him and his desire to serve your flock in this way. We just ask that you would protect him and his family, both physically and spiritually, and that uh, you would protect him and allow him to walk well. Father, just help us to commit to diligently pray for him and uh, for Mission Community Church as we go forward from here. Help us also to walk well. Help us also to uh, be able to do that so that uh, Cody's service can be done with joy as opposed to with strife. And so, Father, we, uh, we praise you and thank you for the work that you continue to do in your church here and around the world. And we pray this in Christ's name.